gentlemen, welcome to my kitchen where I'm about to make you drool because today's video is sponsored by the National Pork Board. I'm going over three quick and easy protein packed meals every guy should try. Cooking is one of those skills that I personally feel every guy should master because in order to look and feel your best, you need to make sure that the food that you're consuming isn't like a bunch of crap. Eating healthy is all about prior planning and preparation. Once a week, I'll grill all of the protein, I'll make all of the carbohydrate. Today's meat or protein of choice is going to be pork tenderloin, which is super lean, super affordable, and super delicious. But it's even more delicious if you know how to cook it properly because there's a lot of misconceptions out there that pork needs to be like cooked all the way through and, and the juices need to run super clear in order for it to be done. Truth is, pork is even more delicious if you cook it to about 145 degrees inside, which means that it's going to have sort of a blush pink center. It's tender, it's moist, it's delicious, and now it's time to cook. So the beautiful thing about pork is that it really takes on the flavor of any marinades or seasoning that you put on it. I am a pork purist. I love the flavor. And so all I do to season my tenderloin is do a little fresh ground black pepper, a little pink Himalayan sea salt, both sides. Once your pork is seasoned to perfection, then it's time to grill this bad boy. Um, I already had my grill preheated um, while I was seasoning everything. Right there. Throw the pork on the grill. So for me, when I'm cooking pork, I like to use a thermometer to make sure that I am cooking the center to 145 degrees. Because once you try to actually cook pork properly, you're gonna be amazed at the difference in the flavor and the profile of, of the meat. It's so much more tender and delicious if you don't like wear it out and, and cook it to death. I'm using the iGrill too, which actually has an app that goes to my phone to let me know when my meat is finished. We're on. Now it's time to go in and cook the other food. So with each of these three meals, what I like to do is protein, a carbohydrate, and a vegetable. Um, we're gonna be doing three different carbohydrates. We're gonna be doing the sweet potato. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to rock this in like five minutes in the microwave. We're also gonna be doing barley, which is one of my favorite grains. It's super low glycemic, and this stuff is incredible, and it works perfectly with pork. Another grain we're gonna be doing is quinoa. Easiest way to do a sweet potato, ready? In a paper towel. Microwave, in there, five minutes, forget about it. Quinoa takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it's very similar to cooking rice. For one cup of quinoa, you're gonna use two cups of water. Bring the water to a boil, pour in your quinoa, cover and simmer. So barley takes a little bit longer and it's going to cook for around 45 to 50 minutes. All right, it's not like a one to one or two to one ratio. What I do, two cups of barley to like four cups of water, I bring it to a boil, then bring it down to a simmer and just let it cook for about 45 to 50 minutes and then you put it through a strainer. And this is what the cooked barley looks like. It's super delicious. It's got a lot of like substance to it and once again, it sort of transforms very similar to the pork as to anything you season it. We're gonna do mech Mexican. Um, I'm gonna show you like one of my favorite like Mexican sort of barley recipes with the pork and it's super delicious. Some other things that you're going to need. Some green beans. These are just canned green beans, low sodium. You're also gonna need some black beans. These are also canned. I've got some pre-cooked broccoli and some corn. Let's check the pork. Where are we? 135. Uh, it's looking delicious, boys. Looking delicious. Back inside. Sweet potato is whew, super hot. Gonna let it just kind of chill out for about five to ten minutes. Just got notification. The pork is finished. Beautiful. What do you think? Looks good, right? <laughs> it smells even better. All right, so. When you pull it off, you can't just like dig right in. You've got to let it rest for about three minutes and this just lets the meat sort of absorb and, and hang on to some of the juices and make it even more tender and delicious. Once it's rested for three minutes, then you're gonna cut it. I like to do small little medallions. Right there. Check it out, right? That is beautiful. Perfect pork. Guys, it doesn't have to be totally worn out. This is tender, it's delicious, and this is how you should be cooking your pork. So for the first meal, it's gonna be sweet potato. 
green beans, and some pork tenderloin. Now, once your sweet potato is cooled off, it's real easy to just sort of peel the skin off of the potato. What I like to do, sort of spread it around a little bit. Side of green beans, three or four medallions of the pork tenderloin. Then for me, I like to do a little hot sauce over top. Enjoy. And <laughs> now, I don't count macros. I don't do anything like that. I like to eat a sensible portion. I like lots of protein. I like carbohydrates. And this meal is not like super crazy filling and doesn't make me feel all bloated. Um, it's delicious. It's perfect. The pork is perfection. And it's just something you should try. You should also try my version of Barley Mexican Surprise. I'll take some barley some black beans, corn, and I'll sort of mix it together. Two or three medallions of pork. I'm gonna top this off with some delicious salsa to give it a little more Mexican flavor and flair. Dinner done. All right, take a little bit of quinoa, and a season with a little bit of sea salt, fresh pepper, steamed broccoli, three nice sized medallions, little squeeze of lemon all over the top. How delicious do these look? They're all alpha approved and they're incredibly healthy, they're nutritious, and like I said, pork is one of my all-time favorite meats. It's super lean, it's affordable, and it's quick. And if you're looking for additional recipes, guys, there's a link down below to www.pork.org slash grilling to get more grilling tips or recipes. Guys, I'm gonna run, I'm hungry, this has been smelling way too good, but thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want more alpha cooking tips and recipes. See you later, guys.